you get a script. How do you begin? Well, uh, I get a script, and the first thing I do is read it, of course, and then I usually meet with the director not long after that. And I, I try not to make a great deal of decisions about what I think it should sound like until after I've interfaced with the director and gotten their thoughts to see what they, they want to do with the piece. Um, I always encourage directors to just talk to me about the story. Don't worry about trying to communicate with me in music terms or sound terms. You know, okay. you don't have to tell me, I, I think the show should be in A flat or whatever. <laughs> like, you know, just, just tell me what you want to say with this show. Tell me how you want to communicate it. And, and I can help translate those ideas into music and sound. Um, so that, that's what I do. I take that and then from there I, what I, the next thing I do is I collect uh, a sound palette, you know, uh, what I think will be sort of the vocabulary of the show. I, I usually collect lots of original songs or I'll create, I'll find sounds that sound something like it or even instruments or anything like that and I'll just sort of collect it into like a big folder and I'll say like, okay, this is sort of what our, you know, our paint box that we're going to be uh, working from. And then the next thing I do is I try to either see a read through, which is on the first day just sort of talking through the show, or if I can, I'll come to a run through. And then from there, I have this very strange thing, which is I'm able to watch a show and be able to hear the music and visualize this, you know, how the sound's going to work just by seeing it. And so from that process of, of seeing the show in front of me, um, it's a very fast thing in which I immediately go in to start writing things as quickly as possible or collecting whatever it needs to be done and just, I like to just sort of push through it as quickly as possible, take my first sort of immediate response and really put that into the design. And I think that actually comes from my acting training. You know, when I used to be an actor, um, the whole idea of acting is you're, you're listening to somebody and responding in the moment, honestly. And I feel as a designer that that's similarly what I do too. The actors say something, they perform something in a certain way, and, and I try to give an honest response of what I can do to sort of support the scene that they're in. So I, I, it comes from a very instinctive place. And then from there, I just sort of put it all together and see if it works.